What's up with me bringing guys that are camera shy? You and Grant, damn it. <laughs> I didn't know there was horses up here. <laughs> yeah, I almost got him. I almost got him. Well, I answered my question to whether or not there's deer in here. Man, I am like giddy with excitement. Look at this place. And there's deer track right here, like nice buck track. Just a matter of finding them. You know, this behind me, it's steep. It's definitely steep, but you know what? Steep's fine. I hate brush. I hate pounding brush. It's the worst thing ever. We gotta get camp set up here and and then uh, we're gonna bust the glass out once we get camp set up. Well, camp is all set up officially. We got the bear fence up and we decided to get the bear fence not so much for while we're here. It's more for when we're not here so camp doesn't get wrecked while we're potentially uh, spike camping on the next ridge over. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, what uh, tonight brings with glassing. Ryan's balance chair thing. It's pretty neat. My little uh, cheapo backpacking chair. The little one person bivy. This is our this is our storage tent. Tent. You guys have seen uh, the Cimarron numerous times. It's a cool little table I found online. It was only like 40 bucks. Pretty awesome. It's three pounds. And we're flying in here. We're allotted a pretty decent amount of weight. So I said why not? Why not? Haven't spotted any goats initially, but hopefully they start bouncing around here in a little while. Otherwise, we're gonna gain some elevation and glass that way. All right, we spotted a shooter buck. He's a fork at horn with at least one eye guard. He's split on his right side. So he's trying to be a two by two by three or, or even a four by three he's kind of got a blade on the front definitely a shooter buck but he stood out pretty good um, picked him up naked eye and then got the spotter on him and and then he disappeared into a little drainage if he pops out we'll see if i can get some footage of him they're exactly 500 yards you got him oh yeah i see him okay i'm gonna swing over there see if i can pick him up oh there they are I think the one in the back might be Bullwinkle, but I don't I don't think so, man. None of those deer look big enough. Oh, three. There he is. That's Bullwinkle in the back, pretty sure. It looks like he's got that. Oh, look, they're fighting. Get him. Get him. Yeah, three of them up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that's. I know that's what I'm thinking. And those goats are plenty far away. I don't yeah, think I we would spook them. Bad. Yeah. That one, he's now all the way on the left. He had a thick neck on him. He's a good buck. Yeah. He sees nuts. To make sure he's a buck. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't see his nuts, but he's showing all the characteristics of a of a buck. So. I mean, it, it, it is 2021, we don't really know for sure. Okay, yeah, I see him. You can see him with your naked eye. Yeah. All right, I was just saying, I literally just told Ryan, I was like, man, I'd love to see some goats pop over this hill. And I just swing my binos over the hill and there's, I just counted 10, Ryan just picked up more. I can see him, what he's looking at. And so we, we just picked up about, what, 13 goats. So Ryan and I both agree that uh, this is a billy. This is a little over a mile away. Let's see, I'll pop this off of here so you can see where it's at. All right, 
So, get this thing to focus. The right of that, that shadow in the very middle of the screen is where that goat is. Is he still bedded? He's digging. He's digging out a real bed, huh? So, yeah, pretty exciting. What do you think, Ryan? I don't think. He's like, I don't think. He's like, I think you better get that camera out of my face. All right, we've got a uh, turn of events here. We've got a goat that just popped up here. And I'm gonna see if I can get swung around on him. All right, so that goat is close. And well, we can't rule anything out now. The goat's probably six to 700 yards away. 726. It's got a nice coat on it, for sure. Come check it out, Ryan. All right, so we're watching these, this, this one go up here at 700 yards. We just picked up two more billies. Let's see if I can get you some footage of these two more billies we just picked up. They don't look as big as the one that's close right here. So we just glassed up a very, very nice Sitka blacktail. He's a four by three with eye guards. Um, very, very nice buck. He's uh, he's at the top of our, our buck list. So we're up to six bucks. And this guy is a phenomenal Sitka blacktail. So focused. Look at that. Look at that form. Takes a very steady hand. Is that how you pee too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skill. <laughs> well, it's 6 a.m. and we're socked in with fog, so I don't really plan on getting up and going anywhere because I can't see anything. At least we got really good glassing in yesterday, and there's no way that our plane would fly in in this right now. So kind of feel lucky to even just get in here. Well, it's opening morning, and uh, we haven't been very productive because it's it's foggy, and we're better off just waiting out the fog than just hiking up through the fog and bumping animals that we'd never see. So hopefully it'll it'll burn off before too long we'll be able to have access and be able to see up the mountains here. Otherwise, it's just a waiting game. That's that's it, that's really our only play. It's the only smart play anyways. Well, the fog's finally starting to lift. All right, so we just turned up that, that three by four with eye guards, that buck from yesterday. We're primarily up here for goat, but I don't know if it's a wise decision to pass up an opportunity like this, he's a very good buck. I think we're gonna make a play on this buck. All right, so, buck is, there he is. What do you think? walk down there and if it looks right then go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Should we make our way to that rock. It's nice and easy. Six hundred feet right here. From right here. So if we go to there that could decrease easily to around four hundred. Right now it's set for a uh, three hundred 
sitting in there more weight. I got 423 right here. If you want to stay here, and I'll push to the rock. True. This is how you set something. You see how the front legs kicked out? Yeah. He's funny, man. He's an old buck, I think. I think he's an old guy, too. His, his face looks like it. Yeah. He's definitely immature. I would like to see him hard horned with a big old fat neck, though. Mm hmm. He's got to move eventually, right? Yeah. Got nothing better than do. He's got a like, real fluffy face. He's a big ass nose. Yeah. Nice shot. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I was back on so freaking fast, too. Seriously, you have to watch it. I'm not joking, you have to watch it. <laughs> Congratulations, friends. Oh, that's a step up. It is. <laughs> that's why I said he's not going anywhere. What? That was like one and then forced. Yeah, and there was steam coming out. It was like a volcano. That stock went well, though, because we went to this rock. Yeah. You know, it was less than ideal, especially having to shift grains on a bullet. That's not a fun move. Thanks, COVID. It's very medieval up here. So cool, dude. Like, it's, it's August, and we're hiking up yeah. <laughs> snowshoes. Or sheets. He's heavy. He's real heavy. much a burn day because we can't we can't even glass like we're not gonna be able to see up in the goat country and this is how it's been pretty much all day so I would say by taking that just
just smoker, sick of blacktail. We definitely capitalized on what could have been a wasted day. Pretty stoked. We've got five days of hunting left. Day one is pretty much in the books. Let's see if this works. We, it's our best odds of keeping velvet for a few days. We're getting ready to go to bed and uh, saw some nannies come down. There, there's uh, three nannies with three kids and there's one nanny by herself. Pretty cool. See you in the morning. Thank you.